Hey quilters, it's Mary Ann Fontana. I'm working on chimney sweep. Uh, and I've already done the quilt and I've done it in some really cool dark tones, um, just two different colors of fabric, a dark gray and a multicolor, which I'll show you in a minute. Uh, but what I wanted to share with you is that I'm doing some ruler work on it. Um, I hadn't done ruler work before and I decided I would give it a try and it's really easy. Um, you know, having made my chimney sweep using the AccuQuilt Chimney Sweep Bob Die, all my pieces are lining up really well, which makes it very easy for me to do straight ruler work because everything lines up. So, um, just wanted to share with you that it's super easy and it actually is just as fast as free motion quilting, you know, stippling. Um, and it looks really cool and it looks like a professional did it. So, anyway, I wanted to share it with you and I hope you enjoy it. Okay, so here is the chimney sweep quilt. And as you can see, I've already done some of the stitching here. I've actually done this whole thing crisscross in this section here. Uh, and I'm working my way across. First, I stitched all my straight lines going this way horizontally as far as the throat plate on my uh, free or my uh, quilting machine would allow and now I'm going up and down to finish this section when I'm done I'll move the fabric forward and I'll do the next section and this actually this chimney sweep which I have on point um, actually finishes to a perfect size so it fits uh, right between um, you know I can do one entire row uh, free motion. Anyway, I've got my um, quilter's ruler, and what really you need to make sure you do is have a very thick ruler. I don't know if you can see this. This is about a quarter of an inch thick, and you need this, and you need a special foot which has a blunt edge, has a higher side, so that you don't jump over with your needle and break your needle by hitting the plexi, which is very easy to do. I've done it twice on this quilt so far. But anyway, uh, I am ready to go up. I'm gonna go up and do a next row. So what I've actually done is position my acrylic against the side of the um, foot, which has a wide side, so it's kind of making a stop. So, you know, I just have to be careful. Um, and you should have underneath it a plastic table to help you lay the rulers, uh, you know, much more evenly. I do not have it yet, but I'm in too big a rush to do this because I really want to work it out. And it seems to have been okay, but I am ordering myself a plexi uh, extension table so that I could do better ruler work in the future. But anyway, here we go. I'm going to go ahead and start it. And I go as far as I can reach and then I move my ruler up and I'm also looking up here to make sure that I'm lining up as close as I can to that other row of thread. Alright, so I'm stopped. So I've just gone up one side and now I'm going to move over. So I'm going to line this up and I actually don't do bad sewing across on horizontal. It's my vertical that's really hard on me. Uh, so uh, let me show you how I do that. So I'm just going to... And now I'm all lined up and down I go. And I'm going to slide this down, make sure I'm fairly straight, and continue to the end. And this is my stop point. You know, this is just where I have enough room to get the uh, needle down. I mean, because if I would bump about another inch or so. So I like to stop there because it's also easier to hide where you stop and start. Um, if you do it on a seam or something like that. So I'm going to go across to the next section Just gently and I'm eyeballing it and now what I'm going to do I'm going to line the ruler up where I want it and I'm lining it up about a quarter of an inch Past the seam so I don't have it set on the seam because if I did then I'd be sewing over further because the needle uh, There's about a quarter of an inch between where the needle is and where the edge of the uh, foot is so uh, that's what I'm doing So here I go And stop and I'm going to move it up. Well, hello. You know, it's actually making me feel very accomplished because I can't sew straight lines. And I had this ruler uh, and I finally decided to play with it the other day. And this is actually the first quilt I've ever done with ruler work. So I thought it would be fun. I kind of feel like it's a milestone. I learned something new. Uh, so that is kind of cool. Uh, and all I'm doing
doing is laying it down and you know just the, the hardest thing to learn when you're doing this the first time is not is holding this down so that your uh, foot and your needle doesn't jump onto the acrylic uh, ruler because you're going to break your needle. I, as I said, I broke two already, but I'm getting the hang of it. Okay, then I'm just going to move down. And let's do one more. Come across a little. Now this kind of looks harder because um, it's a wide open space. Let me come down a little further here. Let's see if we can get a little bit closer, okay? Um, but I'm just going to line it up with the piece up here. So let's just back up a little bit. Okay, I'm lined up. And I'm going to go as far as I feel comfortable before I move the ruler. What you don't want to do is not have control and have it slip on you. Okay, and so uh, I'm going to show you what it looks like when it's done. But I think it's coming out pretty cool. Um, and that is just a plain straight stitch with a simple ruler work. So I just finished quilting it and I cut it off the machine and I'm pretty pleased with it. I just cut the edges. But anyway, it looks, it looks to me, it looks straight. I've never had a quilt look straight and even. Boy, I'm used to doing free motion. I mean free motion, I've never used a ruler. But I am really pleased that it looks uniform. Um, and this is the chimney sweep die from AccuQuilt. And I actually haven't named it yet, but it's kind of like mountains and I don't know. I'll see. But anyway, so that's it. I'm going to put a border on it. I've actually decided I'm going to use this variegated. This is a multicolor. I only use the dark gray and this. It's all one piece of fabric. And it's just shaded like that. I love those fabrics uh, because they give it such interest. Anyway, I'll show you with the border and uh, it's pretty much done.